Jah Rastafari Original Justice Man Champion Sound Yes guys Yes Justice What the money will I slash I Jah Rastafari This time to life my last Jah you know he won't acknowledge the world at this hour and even bless the people of the world. And the love of God, you know, goes out to all, you know, and all people. And this time, see me justice, you know. Right now, the man of justice is the fourth, you know. So, with such a name to even bring forth, you know, justice unto the people at this hour. Who is the man of the liar? The last year, yeah. Rastafari. Yes, justice. Well, yes, my lad. So, I I give thanks, you know, to even this day in life and come to bring forth salvation to the world, you know, from a biblical perspective, a historical perspective, and in a, in a realistic manner, you know, and then I come to even talk to the people, them, and Christ did even show the people, them, say, you know, search the scriptures, you know, for in them you think you, you will have eternal life, you know, but the man said, they are there that speak of me, and here I am, and you won't come on to me, that you may have life. So the man actually naturally said, the Bible is just a tool for pointing to God. And when you point it to the God, and you find the God, now you acknowledge him, and you work with him. Just like when I read in Revelation 19, you know, of, of his imperial majesty, Emperor the Celestia, upon the throne of David, in Ethiopia, crowned no, November 2nd, 1930, and uh, birth in 1892, July 23rd, fulfilling, you know, so scripture and I and I see the king crown and Rastafari all over the world read that it in the Bible and acknowledge the king and hear him and, and we have a Rastafari moment so Revelation chapter 19 I and I can read uh, of the, the coronation in prophecy of his imperial majesty Revelation 19 11 and I saw the heaven open up and all a white ass and he that sat upon him was called faithful and true and in righteousness he doth judge and make war his eyes were as a flame of fire and on his head were many crowns and he had a name written that no man knew but himself and he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood and his name was called the word of God right so it has shown you naturally right there, so uh, of his imperial majesty in Ethiopia who, who was crowned and even started this whole Rastafari movement, you know, and that's why it, it even shows that the Bible is real, because Christ showed him, said, the scriptures speak of real people, you know, but the scripture itself is not the Savior, and the man who it speak of, I go Savior, and just like what you read in the Bible of his imperial majesty, we also read of, of Prince Emmanuel, you know, the black Christ, you know, the lamb, you know. And Revelation chapter 1 tell us of the lamb coming, you know, in the islands in this time. So that's why we see King Emmanuel come to the island of Jamaica, Revelation, which is in this time. Speak of, just like we speak of the crowning of the king, and we see it happen in our earlier part of Revelation, we speak of the coming of Christ in the island of And that's how we see King Emmanuel come to the island of Jamaica, and Marcus Giave, which is said John the Baptist. And we see Marcus Giave go to prison, just like we tell us John the Baptist was locked in prison for a time. So we see even Marcus Giave come, come fulfill all the works of John, but uh, in Revelation, you read of the gathering of the people before the throne, and Marcus Giave said, Marcus Marcus Giave will come together, every black man and woman, out of every people, King Jesus, to my nation, to carry them home on the continent of Africa. So we see John fulfilling his word and his works in Marcus Giave, from the book of Revelation. Likewise, we see Prince Emmanuel come, described by John, he said he had his head and his ear were white like wool. So we see King Emmanuel going to edit with a white turban on his head, and his priest is white like wool. And he had his garments down to the foot, which is his robe, you know, and he had a golden girdle, but he was a golden, a golden robe to tie his way sometimes, you know, his foot were like burning a furnace, you know, a black skin price. And he had the vice of many water, which is going to go with the vice is unique to him, because his vice is different than other people's vice. So, we even see, we, we even see that part fulfilled down to the vice of many water, it come with Melchizedek order, the fact that he will show you that Christ comes through the order of Melchizedek, it's a priesthood order. Melchizedek order is the order that stem from the foundation of the world, it's a God in flesh order. Because Melchizedek was the man who was called, you know, known as the king of righteousness, the king of Salem, the king of things, a man without mother or father or beginning of days, you know, or without end of life. Yet mother and father, just to show you that this man is come as God in flesh because only 
God alone create mother and father. So the order come from, from, from a, as a God in flesh order. And Christ come through this order and, and crown his priest through the order of Melchizedek as stated in Hebrew chapter 7. So we see King Emmanuel and it's true that there is a lot of churches all over the world. But to tell you that Christ has seven stars in his right hand which are his seven angels and his seven spirits which represent his seven churches. And we see King Emmanuel come with his own branch of churches like how the Bible says Christ in the last days will come. You know, with his churches together, his 144,000 elect saints. You know, and we read in the Bible, his 144,000 elect saints, the Bobo Shanti. Just like how we read of his interior majesty, like how we read of Bobo Eddie, you know, the Black Christ and Marcus Garvey. But uh, some rastas even say his majesty is Jesus. And his majesty even stated clearly, say he has spoken with the rest of you, telling them that he is not Jesus. And man must find and emulate Christ because he emulate Christ. King Emmanuel is this Jesus. King Celestia is King David sitting up on, on his father King David's seed sitting up on his father's throne you know like what it says David shall not like seed to sit upon his throne he's the almighty God we acknowledge him as the almighty father King David the father of Christ in flesh but King Emmanuel is the son of God the black Christ in flesh the lamb you know, when you read Revelation chapter 5, I can read that for you now. And it states plainly of the Lamb meeting with the king and taking a, a book out of his hand. And we see this happen when King Selassie I come to Jamaica. We see him meet Prince Emmanuel among other races. But we statistically see him meet Prince Emmanuel um, in King's house fulfilling the scripture. Revelation chapter 1, 5 chapter verse 1 says, And I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book written. And we know that the king is he who sits on the throne of David he is the king right and on the backside see with seven seals and I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice who is worthy to, to open the book and to lose the seals thereof and no man in the heaven or in the earth neither under the earth was able to open the book neither to look thereon and I wept much because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book Neither look there and and one of the elders say unto me, We not, for the, the holy lion of Judah, the root of David, have prevailed to open the book and to lose the seven seals thereof. And I beheld low in the midst of the throne, and of the four beasts, and in the midst of the elders stood a lamb, as it had been slain. Seeing so this show you say this is the Christ, the man who was crucified. And the say is the king sitting on the throne. And now this lamb, the Christ, which had been slain, having the seven arms, the seven eyes which are the seven spirits of God sent forth into all the earth came and took the book out of the right hand of him that sat up on the throne and when he had taken the book the four beasts and the twenty elders fell down before the lamb having every one of them arms and golden vials full of odors which are the prayers of saints and they sung now a new song so this is going to be the new song where all you all Rastafari and all the people in the world will sing you know to acknowledge King Emmanuel as the lamb of, in the book of Revelation, the Christ who is beaten, you know, from Jamaica government in this time on five bleeding wounds 2,000 years ago upon the cross uh, and Calvary coming this time to redeem his people. And he said there's some new song saying, Thou are ready to take the book and to open the seals thereof. Father was slain and has redeemed us to God by thy blood out of every kindred, people, tongue, and nation, and has made us unto our God, Emperor Isla Celestia the first without no apology, kings and priests, and we shall reign on earth forever and ever and ever, you know? So I and I acknowledge the king upon the throne, and we acknowledge King Emmanuel, come and even meet with the king, fulfilling these scriptures of the Lamb taking the book out of the hands of the king. And here you read of the Baba Shanti, the 144,000 elect saints with robes of white, filling this scripture in the Bible to even come and stand before the throne with children numberless. As the sign of the sea show, they even have the him that say when the saints go marching in, I want to be in that number. Now is the time to be in that number because the saints are here the Bible Shanti are here speaking the words of Rastafari and loving all our brothers and sisters and everyone so I and I give thanks and King Emmanuel come with freedom redemption repatriation the Bible tell you this, this, the in book when you read the in book it tell you of Christ come with redemption but not redemption to die and go to heaven Redemption to take us back to Africa, our motherland, our promised land. The Bible tells us that in the last days, everyone shall go to their own vine and fig tree through the powers of Christ. And we see that fulfilled King Emmanuel showed him that his vice and power stand to fulfill these scriptures and the scriptures back him. The only way to have peace upon earth is when everyone go to their own vine and fig tree. And we don't have no more oppression upon earth, no, no injustice. So I have to even 
give thanks for the man named Justice and the man of Justice in this time, you know, our father, you know. So I like give thanks for the Bible because the Bible is, is like the rallying point of humanity, you know, it's where we can read and understand with reality and know what God is, is dealing with, you know. So I give thanks for even though say, Jamaica come and fulfill the island called Patmos. Jamaica is the island of Patmos spiritually, just like how Right now, the Bible tells you of Sodom and Gomorrah and Egypt, spiritual Sodom and Gomorrah and Egypt, Revelation chapter 11, right? And now we see where these things come fulfilled because America and the West Indies and these places, this is our Egypt. This is where our people were enslaved. That is, that is our reality. It's not our fantasy. That is our reality. We are the children of farmers slaves in these places, you know? And then it's come to be spiritually Sodom and Gomorrah because now that certain things can take place which were taking place in Sodom and Gomorrah 2,000 years ago, or less than 2,000 years ago. So we see all these scriptures come out full now in this time. Right now you read in the Bible, they tell you of the beast. And just like when you see a zebra of a mark, you know that that's a zebra. The beast of a mark also. What is the mark of the beast? The mark of the beast is an instrument, a microchip that they will want to implant in your hand or your forehead. And they say if you don't want to receive the mark of the beast, you won't be able to buy nor sell nor eat nor drink. And they go as far as they will want to kill you, right? Now you look around upon earth, where, where we see with these things going on. We see here in America and these places, we see they have this microchip. And they put it in the children, they put it in the dogs, they put it in the human beings. So we know say America fulfilled this prophecy of the beast because you know a man by its mark. And if I see you with this mark, I know that, okay, this is the beast. Read in the Bible what it says about the beast and what will happen. It says anyone who receives the mark along with the beast, it shall be all going to the lake of fire. That's why you have to have a, a redemption, repatriation, you know, to take us home out, out of these places. Because these places fulfill ba Babylon. And say, come out of her, my people. Because in one hour shall be Babylon judgment. So pretty soon, just like all them say, if every man don't get health care, you, you're going to go to jail. They're going to pass the office say, all who don't take the microchip, you, you won't be able to survive. You're going to be like a fugitive. You see it? I'm going to go to jail and these things and they want to kill us so, And anybody who take it, they're going to burn in the lake. They're going to burn in the lake of fire. And I see them even put it in the dog. And the Bible and that even the dog that feeds upon the wall of Babylon shall escape the judgment. You see, so these things are real and these things are happening around us. You see, then you look at it now, the situation our people are in and we know that we are the descendants of Israel because Moses had descendants. We are all there. Christ had family. We know that Christ, Jesus and Joseph King David and Joseph were, were family like cousins. So Jesus of Nazareth and his majesty are direct relatives. The Bible will show you that Christ, the lamb who was slain, the old, the root of David, the lion of Judah are prevailed. So it's showing you directly that that Christ, King Manuel, is at the root of David to open the book and have used the seven seals here after the lamb. The lamb come and take the book out of the hand of him that sit upon the throne and lose the seven seals. So the 144,000 elections, they are the descendants of the tribes of Israel. And we know that we come to fulfill these prophets. We are the royal sons and daughters of Israel, 12,000 of tribes of Judah and so on. So we and his majesty are family because he is the lion of Judah. We are the descendants of Israel, so we are related in that sense. His majesty come to Jamaica and tell him that we in Jamaica and the Ethiopians are blood brothers and sisters. It's no secret that we are the royal descendants of Jacob by blood. You know, in Jamaica here and, and the West Indies and, and black people all over the world in general. So I and I give thanks to all these fulfillment and all these acknowledgement, you know, and hope, you know, our brothers and sisters can come and strengthen the Bobo Shanti, you know, who stand for freedom, redemption, repatriation in this time, you know, with the Lamb of our Father, the Black Christ, King Emmanuel Charles Edward, Holy Emmanuel I, Slashi I, Ja, all right. But freedom is a much, you know, and look at the situation we black people are in. They come and they take us out of Africa, it's just like a set of us, and they bring us down here in the West, and the wash now would enslave the bees and tell them, make money, make money, make money. And then they take a, a wash and put him over you and say, that's your God. We are black people, and we know that Christ is black. We know my blood and family related relative to David, right? And the Bible describes him as black, but they make a, put a, a white price over us, an image. That's a real man like the Bible tell you of, in an image. Then they, they put a wash over the people, an image, and tell the priest to worship the wash. But everybody with sense know that wash don't understand these language. So after you pray to the wash, I pray to the wash, you know, get your prayer answer. You see? So that is the situation they have our people in. You know, a situation of a knowledge of self, a knowledge of our history, 
of, of our black heritage and culture, you know, and, and all these things, you see. We are the descendants of royal people. We are the family of Christ, the family of David, Moses. We, you know, black, we are the descendants, you know, and find ourselves here in slavery again, you know. And Christ come to free us this time, come here in the West. And all these things are in the scriptures, because when they really tell us that in the last days, the Lord's house shall be established in the mountain top, and all nations shall flow unto it. Micah chapter 4, Joel chapter 3, tell you, you know, of these things, and in, in, in those times, the man shall go to their own vinyl fig tree, you know, Isaiah 43. These books show all these things about Prince Emmanuel, that Christ will come, you know, to gather his people. Down here in the West, yeah, really, really. They tell us the lightning flash in the East and come in the West, so shall you come in of the Son of Man be. And we see Christ come down here in the West, come fulfill all these scriptures. And, and now is the time for I and I people wake up and love one another. You know, because even you check it out, every holy book tell you of Jesus. Someone said Jesus is a prophet. Someone said Jesus is the Son of God. But there is no to argue because they all believe in Jesus. And if, they, if you believe as a prophet, you get a prophet reward. If you believe you accept him as a, as a Son of God, you get a Son of God reward. We have no reason to have dissension and among ourselves because we all say this same thing at the end of the day when you really look down into it and Jesus we have him we have Prince Emmanuel the real Jesus like the Bible tells you about and it describes him down to his wife so if another man come and say him is Jesus he's going to be a counterfeit because he would have to come exactly like how we see King Emmanuel Charles Edwards come and fulfill all his scriptures from every night to every eye to the cross of every tea because it was spoken of him it, it, nothing was left out and you can check it Bible scholars can check it and all intelligent educated people People can check it and see that these things are the truth in this time. Christ was a Jew. Christ is a Jew. The man said, who wants to know who say they are Jews and are not? And in and indeed a synagogue Satan. The first people on earth were the Ethiopians, the black people. We were in Ethiopia in the Garden of Eden keeping the Sabbath day. They look because following six days the Lord created heaven and earth and rested on the seven. So no matter who you are, God set it as a tradition for us from that time till this time to always rest on the seventh day following six days the heaven and earth were created. You know, as I remember that. So Christ set the Sabbath day before even God the Judaism is the Judah's children were called Jews but we were keeping the Sabbath and the commandments before the so-called Jews even came up on earth but we are these people family and descendants by blood Sabbath keepers Christ kept the Sabbath Every day he was in the tabernacle on the Sabbath day preaching, you know, but they treat the world because they say, come, let us follow Christ. And they come with Christianity and then they don't keep the Sabbath and the commandment. So they, they treat the whole world. When the young man comes to Christ and says, how shall I inherit eternal life? He tell him, say, all you have to do is keep the commandments. He sure say, Christ was a commandment keeper and say, you know the commandment. You don't kill, you don't steal, you don't commit adultery and so on. And the man say, all these things I have done. He say, all right, take all the have and feed the poor. The man say, he couldn't do that. What all he's showing you is, he not for yourself and give her everything I want yeah, kid. he didn't do that he just help his brother when you see a brother in need he might help him and, and love your neighbor as yourself so if you love your neighbor as yourself you keep the commandments you're perfect you're free from sin that is how you become perfect by keeping the commandments you don't kill you don't steal you keep the Sabbath day holy the Lord said my commandments I give you that you sin not so don't afraid of me just keep the commandments and don't have to afraid of me so once you keep the commandments and you love your neighbor as yourself you're perfect you're not lukewarm anymore you can't serve God now because the one share say lukewarm people cannot enter the kingdom of heaven if you're not keeping the commandments you're killing you're stealing and all you're not keeping the Sabbath you cannot enter the kingdom of heaven yeah so everyone got to make themselves perfect in this time like Christ said be ye perfect for I am perfect and be ye holy but for I am holy remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy because he don't make nothing imperfect he created us perfect and anything God touches is holy so God also created us holy for us to keep the commandments so if we now make ourselves like how Satan makes himself to Satan by doing the wrong a man can't follow him and do that but I and I shouldn't follow the devil we should follow Christ and keep the commandments you know why you don't want to keep the commandments when you kill you kill your brother if you steal you steal for your brother you covet your neighbor anytime you break the commandments you injustice someone else you're doing injustice to someone else so we now have to have just we have to keep the commandments amongst ourselves the man said, you're free from sin once you keep the commandments. You can inherit eternal life now because the wages of sin is death. And when the man said, my commandments, I give you that you sin not. So once you keep the commandments, you have eternal life. He said, if you never believe Moses, you don't believe Christ. Because Moses even spoke of him and wrote of him. 
Oh, you believe Moses? By keeping the commandment. The law was given by Moses. But grace and truth come by Christ. Keep David show you in the book of Psalms chapter 1. Blessed is he who meditates in the law day and night. So you couldn't serve God without keeping the Sabbath and keeping the law. King David, our father, the great king, was a law keeper. We have the ark of the covenant with the two tablets falling. The commandments in them to show you said that is our, our power we keep the commandments and so when you keep the commandments Deuteronomy 28 show you that your enemy shall come one way after you seven everything you touch your store basket going to bless you are, everything you touch becomes prosperous you cannot fail you cannot lose you always win well, that's why we keep the commandments and Israel was always victorious in every battle and everything we undertake because we serve the Lord by keeping the commandments and loving our neighbors as ourselves so that is the secret to the commandments that you may have Prosperity, you turn 28 so that once you know he's the curse, so the whole world curse. And I'm not sure that this Sabbath is a sign between me and my children, Israel, forever, a perpetual covenant. So if you don't keep the Sabbath, it's like you're saying you're not the children of God. Because the Sabbath is a sign between him and his children. Yeah, I wish God. God in flesh. The Bible shows that in the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, and the Word was God, and the Word was made flesh. See, so the flesh that you see is God. They so them kill I and I people, black people, the people. They're killing God because God is not a spirit no more, you know. Because from the beginning, He's not a spirit alone. You know, because from the beginning, the spirit come in flesh also. And God have face, God have hand, God have mouth, God have talk, God walk. It's God. God in three persons. The blessed Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy One. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Man in flesh, Emperor of the Celestia, the Almighty Father. So God kingdom come on earth, and God will must be done on earth, as the Bible tells you. God founded David with him all the eyes through Samuel, and David established God's kingdom on earth, like our person, our Father, who art in heaven, and be thy name, thy kingdom come, and thy will be done. The kingdom come. David's kingdom is God's kingdom, and he said, David shall not lack seed to sit upon his throne, as long as the sun and the moon endure. So as long as the sun and the moon endure, David seed rule the earth, as the earth right to ruler. That's why you see Emperor Isaac Selassie I come and sit on David's throne. So all who believe in the Bible but acknowledge, must acknowledge Emperor Isaac Selassie I, you know, I, I hear the king. When you read Psalms 20, 20 or 21, it's way that the king shall die in thy strength, O Lord, and in thy salvation, O great, they shall he rejoice in this time. And he said, I write and shall find out all those who hate the king. Thou shalt make them as a fire of in time of thy anger. Your food shall thou destroy from the earth. So all who are fight against Emperor Isaac shall are going to perish. Because this is David's seed, the righteous seed upon earth, who come to rule earth as God the Father. King of the earth shall the earth is God the Son. You know, and we are God the Holy One, because the Holy One is coming flesh. The Holy One, the Comforter, who come to remind the people of all the things whatever Christ said and did. And he said, He shall testify of me. So it's man in flesh because a man has to come and speak as man and testify as man and, and show the people which way to go and, and what's going on in these times. And if you speak against the son, you have forgiveness, but if you speak against the Holy One, you have no forgiveness in this world or the world to come. You see, so you don't want to blaspheme against the Holy One. I you speak against the Holy One, the, the Holy One is the spirit of truth in this time. You have to stand up for the truth and accept the truth and love the truth. And the spirit of justice, the spirit of fire, the spirit of power, the spirit of faith and purification. And no man doubt God. I are you going to doubt a God with such power? We right now the world is spinning and can't tell us what is spinning on. It's spinning in the middle of nowhere. But I say, Empire, the Celestial, I see Christ, Christ with the globus nimbus in his right hand. So I know who will of the world. Who the money will I? Celestia, I die. Rastafari, powerful king, King Celestia, I die. Rastafari, hear the black prophet, long live Marcus Mosiah Giavia, Celestia, yeah. Rastafari. So when I give thanks to the prophet, priest, and king, you know, black people deliverance in this time. He sounds the father, son, and holy one, the God in flesh, in this time. And these words are not my words, but the man said, in time, and the father will speak to us. And the Holy Spirit will speak to us, the Holy One, and the Son will speak to us. So the Father is speaking at this hour to let the world hear what the Spirit has to say unto the churches and the people at this hour. He have a ear to hear, let him hear. Come, let us be a damn chance to your repatriation. Right now, themselves will say for work, I look at all them love people. 
They must have a career and all these things. But they don't have no career. Them sit down and them collect while we slave. And them not Africa stealing out all our wealth. And have the Africans in Africa suffering. But if our leaders in Africa had rise, and uh, run out the colonial rulers like Idi Amin Dada did, the honorable field marshal general, Africa would be long to the black people right now. And we would be reaping our own wealth. We would have to be working all in work while you see the rub our wealth. And we don't hear in the, in the Western world suffering. You know, they tell us to work a little harder. After they take us from Africa, uh, a real poor ancestor, rub us and beat us. When you drive up past them on the street, they look at the scorn, like to do something to them, and we didn't do nothing to them. They do things done to us. Black people must stand up and stand for freedom in this time. Freedom for Africa. It's a royal nation kingdom. It's yes. And they're up there stealing the wealth, and they don't hear poor and suffering. They have to run away to God as well in this time, and stand up and chant for your freedom. Because all you're working for was given to you free by God. The land was given to us free by God. See? You're not supposed to work for buy land and buy water and all that slavery. God give you all these things free. The Bible shows you who give you permission to sell me land. You see, it's a man get free land through human rights. Human rights article show you that we must, no one is to hell arbitrarily in slavery against their will. You see, so even our freedom, redemption, and repatriation is a must. They give the, the Japanese reparation, the, the Jews reparation, and repatriation. They don't give Few people know justice, we're calling for justice now. Because we are here suffering. And they're killing us, they shoot us down like bird. Kill a dog, five years in jail. Them shoot the black man and nothing now come out tight. We have to rally with the black Christ and stand up with our leaders. And Marcus Gialdi and Emperor Lesslas, yeah, in this time, chance you a repatriation. Because raise up here won't help. All right, not gonna put you nowhere but in the grave. You need justice to black people, the Indian land. They stole them. They take the Indian land and kill them. And slave black people here. And everybody acting like, yeah, everything cool and we're okay. What about justice? God is going to have to give us justice in this time. We have an earthquake, lightning, thunder, plague, or famine. All these things will come to pass in these times. Because I and I deserve a justice and a right. Black people are the first people upon earth. The mother and father of all races. God created us in his own likeness and image. A black guy. So why should they look at us with scorn? What do we have to be ashamed of when God created us first? We are rich people, royal people, African belong to us. I have to unite in this time and never forsake of that man. Man was the other words. If you cannot help him, send him to somebody who can help him. You know, because you forsake your own. So love your black self and love, love who won. Hope you yourself in this time and rally with the black Christ. God has love. Rally with them for the slash eye. The, the king of kings, the mighty God of all the children of David. And I make us get this repatriation in this time. Let's show unity of love and righteousness of salvation and keeping the commandment. That shall bring these things to pass. I read reading the hymn book. The hymn book tell us we are out on the ocean sailing. Homeward born, we sweetly glide. So you know all these things are, are the words of the Bible and the hymn book. It's a reality of black people. It's not a fantasy. The hymn book tell us, oh, beautiful land, sweet beautiful land. On the highest mount I stand, I look away across the sea where mansions are prepared for me. It don't tell us in the sky. If we shall meet over there on the golden shore in the sweet by and by. We shall meet on the golden shore. It don't tell us in the sky. So when you read the hymn book and the Bible, it don't tell you of what these people are saying. It tell you of the black man reality. Freedom, redemption, Christ come with redemption, repatriation out of slavery, and the Imbuk and the Bible show you all these things. If you deal with the truth and the reality of the Imbuk and the Bible, you will see all these things written in there for us to acknowledge. If everybody, if everybody could have praised Jesus a picture, right? And the Bible said, Thou shalt not worship any graven image. But, and everybody accept the wrong, because we can go with them say the picture of Jesus are God. And them could accept the wrong. The most can accept the right. The man where the Bible tells about now, Bongo Eddie. Emperor the Celestia, the only of 44,000 Bobo Shanti electing robes of white. These are the, the, the real people, not no images that the Bible speak of. The scriptures, the care of them, Rastafari, with his father's name written there, Farad, tell us 144,000 standing before the children of David. So we know the repatriation is a must, but the scriptures cannot be changed or broken. We can say it over and over again. We know that the Bible is true, we must have with faith in the Bible, and believe and acceptance of the Bible. A man has no hope for salvation. 
So Rastafari cannot speak against the Bible because Emperor Haile Selassie mm-hmm. blown in Bible uh, and come uh, uh, and glory in Rastafari meet us in Jamaica and uh, set up repatriation for us. All these things are in by the, the government because Rastafari come to Jamaica in leave any money with Charles Edwards. With mm-hmm. documents, Muta Baruka, I hear Muta Baruka testify that in such key money with Charles Edwards go into a room with his majesty and only them alone go into that room are reason. Alone. At this time, upon this time, our understanding is that he, he gave his majesty documents who, uh, I think, Edgar Winter or whoever was in the newspaper at that time, was supposed to publish these documents when his majesty, upon uh, his majesty departure, and these documents were in, in a safe. To this day, these documents are in safe. Black people, redemption, repatriation documents, who, who his majesty hand over and to King Emmanuel at that time. So all these truths are hidden and the glory of the man is hidden. See, them, all these people rise out of Jamaica, mighty people, and Christ, King of will come to Jamaica, and, and nobody don't talk about him. Because they want to hide the man, these things are purposely done. Because they want to hide him, because they know that this man is more dangerous than any man for earth. Because this man comes to repatriate black people to Africa. Now, if this man carry all the people home, who going to do their work for him? So they want to hide this man, so they need to give thanks to the man and, and the works that the man do. If you don't believe him for his word, believe him for the works. Because this man come and tell Babylon, right, the Queen of England, and right, all these heads of governments from the Alpha Black people, and it's a seven mile of ship to take all the way home. Not just Bubba Shanti, all black people home and ships. King Manuel come and do this work. I, I, I hope I receive the letters from King Manuel, Charles Edward, Queen Elizabeth said, there's a man in Jamaica who no man is to molest. Because in time to come, his law shall be above her law, which is the commandments. Everybody know the truth. It's just eaten from I and I people. Did they know who Christ is? Before who Christ was born, 2,000 years ago, they were trying to look for him to kill him because they know the work of Christ comes to do upon the half of his people. So in this time, they read the Bible, they know that King Emmanuel will come as Christ. And that's why they were trying to kill out Rastafari. They said, shoot first and ask questions later, and everybody does reggae music. But nobody don't know what Rasta got through. The other class of the Rasta man in Jamaica wasn't, wasn't published. Let me be the first to tell you about it. And give thanks to all elders who bear the cross with Christ and stand up so we the youth them can come. So I and I couldn't even discriminate the elders. I have to love them. And give thanks to each and every one. I have a black man and black woman at this hour, all the children of God at this hour. Every race of people is black people, descendants, we are all family. So I and I give thanks to justice. You know, people come out here and hear what I and I have to say and to the people. You know, because without the truth, the people won't free. So we have to speak the truth and to Africa and to black people in general of the world. We love ourselves so our nation can rise. And the EABIC, the Ethiopia Africa Black International Congress, the Church of Salvation established by Christ himself, the seven church, the seven stars in his right hand, is here. And everyone should know and have a right to know. The Church of Salvation, them shall seek salvation first, and everything shall add it after. Them shall seek the kingdom of ever. And you that seek it, find it. And I seek salvation. Bumbo Eddie, King Emmanuel, come with salvation of the house of Israel and the freedom of redemption of partiation of earth. Where man can free, uh, you know, everything free. Water free, earth free. Because that's how God created to be from the beginning. No more oppression. And this man come and stand for these things. So and I give thanks. We say freedom for all the poor people in India. Freedom for all the poor people in Africa. Freedom for all the poor people of China. Three of the poor people of Russia. Three of the poor people are all over the world because Christ loves you. And Christ come for you. Blessed are the poor in spirit. And then our God will Emmanuel eyes. Last year, yeah. Yes, justice. The spirit of the Lord is upon me and over 19 years to preach. Liberty to the captive. The liberty of freedom. Redemption, repatriation. And the opening of the eyes of the blind. You could blind your eyes to the truth of the Bible. The Bible Rastafari is here. The saints are here. The 144,000 is here. Christ says it was a fire. The 144,000. To who come and see the commandments. He said, well, no flesh wouldn't save. But in same period of time to save and elect. The 144,000 was up white. You know, so I didn't glorify in God's people. And glorify that the Bible Shanti are here fulfilling these scriptures. I see him on the way here, writing and talking to the government on behalf of his 144,000. And his children, nonetheless, because them half of them said, go to Africa, King Emmanuel, we let you go. And said, no, I'm not going nowhere. We don't 
my 105 foot tall non-children nonetheless. And if them father, Emperor Ayala Shilashia, I give him a work to do. And him is not going nowhere until him work is finished. And the work is not done yet. So I know I give thanks. And God of all powers over death and hell. But uh, all these religions and faith. They're glorious. But read about the theater of our history. Those who feed the commandment. We, we were there in the flood of Noah. But all the people in the world weren't keeping the commandments. They were killing and stealing and lawlessness. Right? No keeping on the Sabbath. No respect for God. No remorse. And then talk to Noah as the righteous man in his generation. And Noah made the boat and the flood come and cover all the workers of iniquity in the world and they die off. God said, in this time, he's going to destroy all the workers of iniquity with fire, not water. And he still have the ability to do it. He have the power to, to, to give life and if it's necessary, even to destroy. You see it? So, in this time, God said, we and the tears grow together till the day of harvest. That's why you see all this iniquity taking over the world and parading like them, them have power and they get away from God. But nobody don't get away because God said, and the day of harvest, he's going to separate the wheat from the tears and our iniquity work are going to burn in fire. So, all these things are written and God have the power to raise dead because the Bible tells you that the dead shall rise. Blessed and holy is he who have fought in the first come out resurrection and such a second death. Have no power. So we're going to see Martin Luther King again. Because them say, we don't find a life. Christ said, he that find his life shall lose it. Martin Luther King find his life and come and speak as a Moses. Because Martin Luther King said, I have seen the promised land, Mama Africa. I will not get here with you. I don't, but you and other people will get here. Which I know is not this is our promised land. Our promised land is Africa as Moses sight. Martin Luther King was a Moses in this time. Man from Mexico, man speak for the right of his people, them kill him. Bob Marley, Tupac, Shakur. Ah, every man that find his life, them say them come and they kill them because they speak for the half of black people. And they want to keep us here in slavery. They don't want us to wise up and free and love ourselves and speak Africa our home. Like all the Europeans speak of Europe as his home. And the Indians are proud of India as their home. And the Chinese will tell her of China as their home. Uh, and yet they have us talking, we are African Americans and we are Jamaicans. That's because of slave education, brainwash. We are Africans and we love Africa. That's why God created us as our, our little birthplace under the sun. That's where we belong and the whole world belongs to us black people because we were first upon earth. But we are not into that. Each and every one of our children get their own vine and fig tree. Africa belongs to us. From Cape to Cairo must be black. We are capable of governing our own affairs and running our own businesses. We don't need no nation coming, stealing everything, and don't give us nothing and say, Africans are poor. When we were the one who built Jerusalem out of gold to show you how rich we are, we shall build a new Jerusalem. They said the, 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 the gates of the Jerusalem were going to be this pearl, and the walls is going to be rubies and diamonds. So we come from great wealth as a people, and according to the scriptures, we are going forward home to great wealth. You know, we're not wealth is going to work and sweat for. That's slavery. I'm talking about justice. We don't work to get a pay. If we work, it's how we want to build a house. We want to build a nation. We want to build our own kingdom. Not this type of work they got us doing. We're not 20 years, you don't have nothing. They don't reach nowhere. And when you can't pay taxes, they take back the land from you. When you're old and can't pay it, so... All these, these is trick. The world will get tricked. As it was in the beginning, socially be in the end. In the beginning, the world was free from God. And in the end, the world shall be free from God. For God have all his power. I shall make sure all these things come to pass in this time. Christ tell them, you know, Christ tell them, they say, look around you. Look at the buildings. Not one stone shall lift upon another. That shall not be cast down. And that was 2,000 years ago. In fact, I have it. And when you read in the book of Revelation, the reason when, when I read to him before the throne, 144,000 and the seven angels upon the altar, right? This is the seven priests ministering. When the first seven priests minister, right? After redemption will take place. He said, the sea gets smite. One third of the earth gets, the sea gets smite, the earth gets smite, and the sun starts burning man, one third. After that, that's the seven morning service in the evening service, and this is on the Sabbath. Because John was in the street and the Lord the answer all these things and the Sabbath days when we wear our white robes. And that is nobody that have our white robe and all the people. So, in Revelation now, they say when the first set of angels about one third of the earth get judgment. 
But when the stem of last angel go, with the stem of last player, I start to minister in. Them say everything in the sea become the blood of a dead man. And right away the sun starts scorch man and the glass in the name of God. Them go as far as to say a great earthquake lick and every island of the sea was said and the cities of the nation fell. So all the cities of all the nation fall and one spoon left up on another. They like don't cast down. You know, Russia, all these places, you know, they get an earthquake so big that the cities fall. You know, so Christ tell you, this earthquake 2,000 years ago, but in this time, the, the, the priests who minister on the altar, they're going to minister about this judgment upon earth. You know, and they say, every island going to flee. So my, when these angels start ministering, you don't want to be nowhere but where they are in Africa before it's more decision. Because the world is going to get judgment. Marcus said, and it be the, the, the white man judgment. I wouldn't want to be a flea or a tick in his color. Because them say after all these things take place, them say the brimstone and fire gonna fall, and they gonna go down in the lake of fire and burn, touch for eternity. All that who receive the mark of the beast, and worship the beast and his image, you know, and receive his name and his number, you know, they are out to give, give, give out. Now, the mark of Gary said, man must live nine miles out of the city where the ill begin. That's where Bobo it is. That's where Marcus Gary live in Jamaica. And King Emmanuel established the Congress for the 144,000 to gather. And children, nobody else will come gather and chant for the repatriation. The man said, drop everything. They do no work for them. They do no work themselves. And they want freedom, redemption, repatriation. An international, universal black man strike. Because all these words not put you nowhere. They just put the people in slavery. And how close the people while them rob Africa look more or while we are here working. I now give thanks to the Black Christ, King Emmanuel, give thanks to the Prophet Marcus with his vision of repatriation, because without the vision, Prophet vision, I and I would perish as, as a nation of people. So the Prophet come with the vision of repatriation to save black people and to save Africa out of hell and sin and shame and death. Because these people are going to get judgment coming one hour shall be Babylon judgment. And give thanks to the Lord say, you know, God have power over life and death, you know, all the dead shall rise again from the grave, you know. You know, to speak the truth, even make them try to kill you and take your life, speak the truth. If you don't speak the truth, you sell out yourself and sell out your children. And they will have to suffer. And the truth will set us free to the Lord God. Okay, you know, the last day I just rise So Baba Shanti is the way of salvation. Baba Shanti come with the fulfillment, you know, of, of the scriptures and prophecy and history and the gospel of Christ. When so when the gospel is done preach all over the world then the end shall come, you know. So this gospel of power in it. But when I and I don't preach this gospel of Christ where where, where Christ wants us when say in the last days, Revelation chapter ten, so in the last days Christ shall come, there shall be no longer mystery. For he himself shall come and teach us all things. In the in book it's showing that God is our own interpreter. So Christ is the author and the finisher of his salvation. You know, the black Christ, King Emmanuel, Charles Edwards, Bongo Eddie. Well, Emmanuel, I slash the idea. Rasta for him. Give thanks to justice, get these words, and the world, you know, can get these words. So, you know, for these words are not our words. You know, these words are the words of Christ, and not just his words, but the words of his father, Emperor Alistasia. You know, for Christ says, if you don't accept him, it's not if you don't accept, but the father, who sent him. And if you don't accept us, you don't accept the who sent us, the Father and Son, you know. Oh, the most high, Celestia, just Rastafari. So freedom, redemption, repatriation is our humble cry. You know, here, you know, the humble solution to the black man problem will be repatriation. Marcus said, you will never get peace in, in these places and never get equality. And we see it because some people are incapable of giving justice. You have to say to the man of justice, if I want justice, and the first man of justice upon earth was the black man, and no man we had ever the kingdoms. Africa no make no bomb, Africa no make no gun, and them thing there. And the other people in the world do deal with all these violence and brutalism. I know it was the rulers and righteous kings of earth. You know, used to live thousands of years upon earth. Healthy life. So I know it's not, not to shame off. No, nah, man, not to shame off, you know. I know you are great people, man. I know you are kings of, and queens. All the great people in the Bible you read about. It's I and I. So we are these people. No, we are royal gods and goddesses. The man said, you are the salt of earth. 
mean, say, they are not on the side. I know it's the side, lose the flavor. They are not on the side again, they were lick up. And the black man was on the side. And we was the righteous people. So, and we have to come and stand up with God and keep the commandments of the house of Israel. When Moses are carried out of Egypt, whenever someone I keep the commandments, I never go go alone. I stand up with Moses and keep the commandments. I did every house of Israel if one man said no. Because we were united in righteousness and salvation and, uh, uh, amongst ourselves. And I saw that we were united in this time of the house of Israel, like keeping the commandments so we can't even go and enter His Majesty Kingdom and live there. Because His Majesty tell us that Psalms 101 when I'm reading and coronation say, Him shall cut off all evil doers from the city of the land. Him say, His Majesty say, if you keep the commandments, you're an active Christian, but they who just know of it and don't keep it, is a historical Christian, so even the king, so you say, Him keep the commandments. You see, so all we have to rise in this time, and we give thanks to King Emmanuel, who come and show us, you know, how to keep the commandments as Rastafari. You know, and keep the Sabbath day holy in this time. Because from Friday 6 o'clock to Saturday 6 o'clock, and I must keep the Sabbath day holy. It's a perpetual covenant from the first week of earth till now. We never miss a Sabbath yet. And we will never miss one, because this tradition has been going on, and shall go on forever. We did the black house of Israel to the Lord most time. Holy Manuel is the last day of Aja. That's what I write. I have to give thanks to the moments in the justice. Yeah, man, I am one. They said, Great Joshua, you know. They said, The Holy One of Israel, you know. So I can give thanks, you know, so if you can come and declare, you know, the spirit of truth and the truth in this time, you know, out of love. Because Bubba love everyone. You know, the man says, Bubba love everyone, and everyone love us. You know, for Uncle Love alone could carry, nothing else can work. Because that is the fire, a uh, fire you have to use to win this thing. You know, you hear the bubble, the rest of them are the fire. Let them is just the fire that come, the, come before him. The man says, when God comes with the real fire, that's <laughs> a fire. You know, the man says, him fire burns soul. You know, so he says, don't afraid of the man, who can't kill the flesh. And can't do the soul, no? Afraid of the man, who can't kill the flesh. And when he blows, he take the soul and put it in a, like a dream. You know, you're just stuck in a fire, you can't come out forever. You're stuck in a like, gym, you're just all like a time. So you know one thing that, that someone said, don't take the mark on a deal and keep the commandments. The only thing that I've had is overcome the mark, overcome the beast with your testimony, the testimony of Christ, and keep the commandments in this time. And we don't want to fight against, we know it, but we tell us that they shall make war with them who keep the commandments and who have the testimony of Christ. God in flesh, King of Manuel in this time. So I now give thanks and love all house of Rastafari and all of my brethren and sisters. The prison door of a fly open because I'm going to say, liberty to the captives, the Lord, the night and I, to even preach to the people. And the prison door fly open and the eyes open up to blind in this time because we can't blind our eyes to the real people of the Bible and the reality of, of this thing. That is our reality. That like the children of farmer slaves, we didn't come here on a vacation. But the man said, we are going for seven miles of Black Star Line and high water ship through his power. And his vice. And King Manuel write them. And as it is for the ship, they're already. And they already know which part to bring the ship them come. So we are wait, you know, for this fulfillment in this time. Just like how Moses even talk to them and get to justice, King Manuel come talk to them. And, and, and tell them, so what, uh, ship, how come you're shackle and chain up, you know, but we're not going back in a shackle and chain. And we didn't pay to come here, so through God power and, and Bible show you that we didn't pay to come here, so we're not going to pay to go home neither. Through God power, you're going to give us justice, because God comes to execute judgment and justice upon earth. You know, whether by his vice or by his power, to the most high. Holy money will I, slash you, I did, yeah. Run stuff, I am poor people, I suffer a long time, we don't have no money for buying a ticket to come out of Babylon. You know, so they must give you back with justice and give poor people ships to go home to live in Africa. Half of the land where them capture with people half of car who come from somewhere where they didn't take us out of the sky. Where them get all these people in Jamaica from? And it was millions of slaves where them bring down here. Half of land in Africa. So by right, we have land in Africa. So we ask our brothers in Africa to embrace us and welcome us home, you know, with these lands. You know, free little we don't hear suffering with all the money. And we'll come and we cultivate the land and build food and, and, and feed ourselves and build our nation in love and harmony and unity. Because Africa has everything in there already. Africa waits for the creators, us, his majesty, his majesty to state these things. And the Bible shows you after these things, the 144,000 coming home, standing before the throne, with children numberless, as the sign of the seashore. So we are these creators who come to strengthen Africa, biblically, spiritually, in every way. 
reach out to us and well from us home. I see India open up its doors and say all of the Indians who did leave and uh, come to the West, them welcome them back home and they're going to give them strength to come and establish and build back the kingdom. Uh, Africa should open their hands to us also and uh, welcome us home. And uh, we'll give them strength also to be about the kingdom because we know you're suffering. And I tell you, it's red. It's red, my land, and it's hungry getting red off. But the man said, a famine has come. So I need to see her. The man said, I go walk a hundred miles, like 10 miles, a glass of water, and you go to the water, Mr. The man said, they're going to say, blessed is the breast, they never give suck because people are going to hungry. Read you tell them in 20 years. You tell you all these things in New Terror in 20 years, you know. Yes, I to give thanks just this man. And give thanks, you know, to say any man who is talking to his time, my lad. You can pull still about the prophecy in a reality and a logical way. You see it in a real way. And God have power, man. God have all power, man. The dead have a rise again. So now I feel some man have sin and dead and everything done. No, nah, man, dead have a rise. And all of who can live good have a burn forever. So if they have a live forever, I have a burn forever in this blood, man. God the man said we shall reign on earth forever and ever. He said shall never destroy the earth again with water. But I know shall inhabit the earth and dwell forever. You see, it's in a new earth, a new heaven, a new Jerusalem. When God done gather his people from the four corners of the earth into his kingdom, and perfect place of his kingdom. So give thanks to these faithful words. Our Father always would say, and I will close with these words, seven words of love. God is love, so let us all love. The man of right is God in flesh. Woman of right is God in flesh. In the beginning was the world, and the world was God, but the world was made flesh. So the people you see is God, and we do unto one, you do unto in Christ. And we are saying unto one, you say unto in Christ, so love yourself. Because you cannot love your brother and say you love God. In order to serve God, you have to love your brother. Christ wash our foot, and so we must wash your brother's foot. So we must, show you, so we must love your brother as God. See it, and love one another as God in flesh. Many places in the Bible show you that God is flesh, and in flesh, that is the true teaching of Christ. Since the Father said, they that consent that Christ is coming in flesh, not God. And they that consent that Christ is coming in flesh, is of the Antichrist. So a long time, the Master of Jesus said, that is a spirit in the sky. When God comes in flesh, and Christ is flesh, is God. King Emmanuel is God, Emmanuel is God with us. And I, the of Christ, the people are God. One body of Christ, Father, Son, and Holy One, Ed and Goody, in a one. So, these are the secrets they hide from the people of the world. And as you're worshipping images and eating your black self and eating your brother or your sister. When your brother or your sister is God in flesh. When Christ come, Christ or the king call the people unto him. And he said, you over here, go over here, the sheep. You over there, go over there, you the goat. Go in the fire, the goat. The goat said, uh, why you put us in the fire? He said, when you see me, you didn't give me food when I was hungry. Well, when you see me, you didn't help me with, with, with see me when I was thirsty. I visit me in, in, in hospital or in prison. And so when did we do this unto you, Christ? In the least, you did it, you did unto one of these, my virgin, you did unto me. So Christ, show you naturally, say, what do you do unto your brother? You do unto him. So man of Christ is God in flesh. Many places in the Bible show you. So Christ is in flesh. And you must, what you do your brother? As so Christ is God in judge. So you say, never love your brother. You're going to go to hell because Christ, you never love Christ neither. And that Christ said, go in the fire, the goat. You see, so this is the true teachings of Christ. You know, that man of right is God in flesh, and woman of right, and God is in flesh. So the people who do the right on earth is God, and the people who do the wrong is Satan and his children. Even the son of your God, the son of our soul. The sun keeps the sun right there. The moon, the star, even the storm will rise of our soul. Because Christ can say to the storm, calm. And the storm will be him. You know, every nature up here and keep the commandments are just men alone, vile, because they don't know God. Them kill God every day and they know that God them are killed. You see, they even crucify Christ. I mean, I'm not making up these things. These two show them kill God because they're far from him, they don't know him. So who know him must come and glorify him? It's a whole idea is spiritual thing. The black house of Israel. You who can praise God like you, Israel. I and I, Celestia, I, yeah. Ja. Rastafari, that's what we need about you going in a black neighborhood, you see what you have a church. Uh, I and I love God. We were God's first children upon earth. Yeah, man, I and I give thanks, you know. The man said, the words are endless that I and I could speak, you know. So I just, you know, remember love, you know, is the greatest thing, you know. Seven words of love, you know. God is love, you know. So let us all love, you know. Love our one another, you know. In flesh, you know, a man, you know. What thing a man is really self, you know. I don't know, I got that. Rastafari, all the most ties, last year, yeah.
Rastafari, my lord. Yeah, man, I'm on a real fire on earth right about now. Emancipation music, justice the great. Man, 
meditating on his creation. I know the wicked and the evil will perish at the presence of John. And if you don't know the Father, then you're a man. Give up, fight the fight, walk the walk, talk the talk. You see, try and try and we feel, and we try and try and we feel. But what? One day we're gonna conquer. Cause you never feel like yet, and we still have light, and we still have fight the fight. Confident in the victory, good over evil. Yeah. Here the king. Love, no? Honest. Respect. Oh, child. To whom vengeance belongs, oh, yeah. oh child, yeah. for you I sing this song. Hear the king, love, justice, honest, respect. Oh child, to whom vengeance belongs, oh, yeah. oh child, yeah. for you I sing this song. Let the earth rejoice, multitudes be glad, clouds and darkness surround him. Righteousness and justice is the foundations of his strong. A fire goes before him and burn all his enemies. Oh, child, to whom vengeance belongs. You are sing this song. Oh, child, oh, child, to oh, child. vengeance belong. Oh, child, oh, child, child. For you are sing this song. His 
Lightning lights the world, the world, the earth is in tremble, tremble. Mountain men like what? Of the present soldier, the king of kings and the lord of lords, the conquering lord. Glad. Glad. Daughters of Judah rejoice Cause John is the most high Above the earth He is to be exalted High, 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 high above high, high, high. all gods He who loves you Hate evil Run Chaka is the ruler Chacha is the ruler, the ruler, the ruler. He preserves the soul, the soul of his saints. Deliver them, O child, out of the hands of the wicked. Life for the righteous, gladness for the upright in heart. Rejoice in joy in the remembrance of His holy name. Oh, cha, to vengeance belong. Oh, cha, for you I sing this song. Oh, to vengeance belong. Oh, cha, for you I sing this song. Never give up, you see it. Never give up. Fight the fight. Walk the walk. Talk the talk. You see it. Try and try and we feel. And we try and try and we feel. And we try and try again and we feel. But what? One day we're gonna conquer. Cause you never feel like yet. And we still have light and we still have fight the fight. You see? But we're not give up in the battlefield. No. Although the war is getting stronger. Although the fight is getting harder. Confident in the victory. Good over evil. Yeah. Victory is mine. Justice. Many, many miles from home. I have to get out of cowboy town. At night, the gun should echo the siren sounds. Not the innocent get gunned down. Surrounded by cold blooded murderers, warlocks and instigators. Upon my name is a lot of rumors, false allegations and propagandas. Sha will be there for me and you. For me. No matter what we go through, for you. Sha will be there for me and you. I know he'll see us through. I know I have come a long way. Many died along the way. Father, hear me when I pray. Grant me victory over my enemies. I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go. They say I'm wanted for what I don't know. Sergeant Brown is after me. Dead or alive, he has no mercy. It wasn't I who shot his deputy. Why should I pay the penalty? Shall we be here for me and you? No matter what we go through, shall we be here for me and you? I know he'll see us through. No, mama, don't cry. Someone will have to die, but not dying. 
Jah will be there for me and you. For me. No matter what we go through, for you. Jah will be there for me and you. I know you'll see us through. I know I've come a long way. Many died along the way. Father, hear me when I pray. Grant me victory over my enemies. Oh, what a day. Remembering it like yesterday. When confronted by the devil's army. Trying to take my life away. I had to draw from the one I got. Only one bullet I had. But when the smoke clears. I was still standing there. Oh, Cha walks right in and hold up the scene. Oh, thank you, Cha. You answered my prayer. Cha will be there for me and you. For me. No matter what we go through for you, Cha will be there for me and you. I know you'll see us strong. I know I've come a long way. Many died along the way. Father, hear me when I pray. Grant me victory over my enemies. <laughs> Blessed love, we gotta be 
Deja be with you, my one brother. Day. May you rest in peace That's forever it. and forever. It was a dark and mucky Wednesday night. My friend was gone down at midnight. Right at his front door. Right at his front door. I was far away when I got the news. So I jumped in my car to see if it's true. Oh no. Please tell me, officer, it's not so. One bright day, we gonna meet again. One bright day. Done no wrong, he, he was, was a awful rasta man. man that I know. I that I knew who sure. in the right mind could commit such a crime on the innocent man. No one knows, no one seems to know, nobody knows, no one got the answers, but the truth. We'll come out someday. I pray. One bright day, we're gonna meet again. One bright day, another innocent life gone. One bright day, we're gonna meet again. One bright day. Decided to write you these lines now. Then water starts running from my eyes now. I know I got to keep the faith. I'll see you there at science gate. For the moment I cannot wait. The times we had, I appreciate one bright day. One bright day. We gonna meet again. One bright day. Another innocent life gone. From that night, things were never the same. A lot of my friends I have to rearrange. They all look at me and say I'm moving strange. They don't seem to feel my pain. Oh, I wish that you were here now to smoke some high grade now. To write another hit song now. To blaze up the fire, let it burn now. Life has its, life has its ups, life has its downs. The killer got dead when his time come around. I know he's heading for. Hell bound on that day when to jump at some one bright day. One bright day, one bright day. Another innocent life gone. One bright day, we're gonna meet again. One bright day, one bright day. See you on the side of the yes. One bright day.
into wiser. This time I'll be stronger. stronger. Can't trust no one. Chai is my only friend. Woo. I'm gonna chant the songs again. Chase the wicked away. Time to rise to my destiny. Music need help, the music need rescue, so we come for rescue the music. 
Yeah, because it was here before I and I. I and I are going to make sure so when I and I leave here, good music is still here for you, them. Righteousness, we say. Every ghetto youth, stand up and play a part. Stand up for something, or you're going to fall for anything. Listen to me. Righteousness, we say. Lead the way.
Triple Crown King Joe Triple Crown King Joe Triple Crown King Joe Rastafari
get them a come Them a go get thrown down Roots, reality and culture, yeah man. Fire never stop blaze, fire never stop burn. Yeah man, from them time till now. Equal rights and justice, justice the great emancipation music.